CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here. Ricky, good morning. Uh, the president and his lawyers say this is political and without merit, but we're talking more than 200 pages, a lot of detail. It seems serious, is it? It is very serious, and it's serious for two reasons. Number one is she has given referrals to the Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office. She has given a referral to the IRS. And all of this material is out there for other prosecutors to grab onto. The second reason is she is looking at what she can do to stop Donald Trump, his family, and two other people who work with him. To the, she's stopping them from working. It's like the death knell of the Trump organization because the bans that she is looking to have enacted by a judge are to stop them from doing business in the state of 250 New York. 250 million in retro, retribution and a ban for five years on operating in New York City. As well as a life ban. Hmm for any of them from serving as a director or an officer and putting an independent monitor. That's like a receivership or a consent decree. This is serious indeed. Plus, I think the most interesting part of why it's serious is it's a dare to Alvin Bragg, who is the DA in New York County in Manhattan, because it's daring him because they've worked together, they've cooperated, and it's saying, I'm giving you 222 pages. I'm giving you a roadmap, a template of all the criminal action that my office believes that the Trump Organization and the Trumps have done. So I dare you not to prosecute. Uh, now, Ricky, I want to turn to the classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. Now, there has not been any a criminal case as of yet, but President Trump has repeated a possible defense. Let's take a look. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it, because you're sending it to Mar-a-Lago or to wherever you're sending it. Ricky, so what do you make? Well, I didn't know that you could declassify documents um, by either ma waving a magic wand or now by telepathy. Yeah, I was going to say. Right. Um, by thinking about it. Well, I think telepathy is an interesting of technique. Documents. Now, of course, there is a process. And yes, a president may declassify documents. But one of the things that might have happened with the special master was to look at the challenge of classification, which now they don't have to, he doesn't have to do, and say document by document, mm. when did you declassify it? What process did you use? Who witnessed it? Right. So there's a process. Yes, there is. Yeah. Well, Ricky, we thank you for joining us. It's always good to be with you. Great to have you. All right.